Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, I want to say thank you 400k subscribers on my YouTube channel. Really thanks friends and thank you for comments, like and subscribers. Let's go. So, let's go to text layer. Let's write here 100 K, click selection tool and let's move to center, go to align and let's hold control double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center, click selection tool and click align, click this icon and this icon. If you not see align here, go to window and enable align. Okay, so let's select this background and lock layer, select this layer 1, 2, 3, 4 and light hide layers. Select 400k and let's duplicate this layer. This is 1 and 0, 0 and k. Okay, so let's again duplicate. Select this 100k. Let's change name original and go to FX control or character. Change color to red. Click OK. So let's hide these text layers first. This is 1. Let's Right one, click session two. This is my first text character. And let's move the anchor point down. Also, we can use this plugin anchor point mover from animation comes to three. And let's click this icon for move the anchor point down. Or let's move to right for center. Click session two. Then let's enable other text layer, let's double click and write 0, click session tool and let's move right like this and click this icon for move to anchor point down, ok, again let's delete this and select this 0, let's control D, change again 0 and move to right. So this is red text for see difference, after I prepare this text layer I will delete original text layer. Okay, so last text K, let's enable, double click right here K. Click session tool and move to right. Okay, click this icon for move to anchor point down. Okay, that's good. So let's delete original text layer. And right now let's select text layer, let's change name one and press S and click this icon, change scale zero. Make scale two frame and go to 10 two frames. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard for go to 10 two frames and change scale 110. Go to again 10 two frames, change 95. Again, go to 10 two frames, change 100. Select two frames, make easy or click F9. Let's animation. Nice. So, select the last three G frames. let's hold ALT, move to left and go to graph editor. Select this first graph, let's make like this. Okay, that's good. So, back to G frames and in this time select this scale G frames. let's copy with CTRL C and go to first second. Select these other text layers, CTRL V for paste. Let's see. Nice. So let's select these text layers and let's go to here and select this layer 1. Let's enable and put here. Also select these all elements moved up. This is my first cartoon element. Okay. And let's press S, change scale. Okay. And next layer, let's enable. Put here, press S change scale okay and next let's enable press s change scale and put here and last layer move to here press s change scale and put here okay so in this time select this layer one and go to first second go to solo and let's press p move to down and make new passing two frame go to 10 two frames 
for shortcut you can use again hold shift press page down and let me show next way for go to 10 g frames click time duration and right here plus 10 for go to 10 g frames click ok move to up and go to 10 g frames again and move to down select g frames make easy ease or click f9 let's say animation okay select g frames go to graph editor and select this graph let's make graph like an ball animation let's see nice back to g frames select these three passing g frames move to right and go to first second select this layer one hold shift press s and make scale g frame move to right and change scale zero select g frames make easy ease let's see okay select these passing g frames move to left let's see nice so back to two frames and on solo layer let's see okay that's good so select this element layer press u and select these all two frames let's copy and select this layer 2 Control v let's see okay so let's press p and select these three passing two frames and this is very important go to last two frame last passing two frame and don't forget to select all passing two frames and move to right okay select this layer three and go to first second control v let's see okay and let's press p select these again three passing two frames go to last position two frame and move to right and go to again first second select this layer four Control V all position and scale two frames and let's press P select these all position two frames go to last position two frame and move to right like this so in this time select this layer two let's move to right a little bit and layer three move to right and layer four move to right let's see okay so select this layer one press U and let's see timing and in this time let's go to edit and split layer or control shift d delete and let's see timing again select this layer one and select these all text layers move to right first select this layer one let's move to left i want to perfect timing and also select these other elements hide layers let's work only one layer and one text layer okay let's see Okay, so in this time, let's move right this text layer. Let's see. Okay, move to right again. Okay, let's change duration a little bit. Nice. So in this time, let's select this layer two. Let's enable and select this text layer here move to left let's see let's move to left okay and select this layer 2 let's again go to edit split layer delete okay let's move to left a little bit this text Okay, let's say again. Okay, let's go to one G frame again, chain duration. Nice. And select this layer three, let's enable. Let's see timing. Okay, select this next text layer, move to left. Move to left more. Okay, and select this layer 3 and in this time go to edit split layer and delete okay let's say again nice let's change duration a little bit for one frame rate okay that's good so next and finally select this layer 4 go to enable and select this text layer K and move to here. OK, 
okay and say it is layer 4 go to edit split layer delete okay that's good so let's change text colors select this first text go to eyedropper color selector select this green let's see nice and next color select is next color go to select pink okay and next color again let's pick here yellow and this k let's go to again color selector select this yellow or let's try use maybe white okay that's good nice so let's go to here and right now let's cut this last element okay very nice so in this time let's go to window and open animation comes there 3 and i will use shape elements let's open starter precoms and shape elements let's search here particle fireworks let's click and click add and close window let's see okay and let's see timing let's move to here first element okay and let's control d move to right let's move to right okay not bad and again control d move to up let's animation nice very good okay so friends that's all and this very easy and fast animation way for create dynamic motion graphics animations for our project and thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck